Hi, it's Logan from Sleepopolis.com, and today we're going to take a look at the Naturepedic EOS Classic. Naturepedic is a company that specializes in organic materials and products. They have a few different firmness levels. We're going to take a look at uh, the soft latex over firm coil structure system they have. If you'd like a little more detail on some of the other firmness level uh, options and what that means for the construction, you can read the written review. If you just Google Sleepopolis and Naturepedic, it'll be one of the first uh, links that comes up on Google. We're going to jump right into the construction. We're going to start with the cover of the mattress, which is made from an organic cotton, 100% organic cotton. Uh, it's a soft material, soft to the touch. Uh, I found it to be pretty breathable. Uh, you know, snaps back into place. You won't have to worry about it bunching up too much when you're rolling around on the bed. Uh, it's also quilted with a foam layer in the cover, which is going to provide some initial softness and pressure relief when you're lying on the mattress. Now let's check out the layers of the mattress. The Naturepedic EOS Classic is made up of two layers totaling 11 inches in height. This top layer here is three inches of latex foam. It's an all-natural material, and latex is known for being pretty responsive to pressure. You can see that here. It's going to give some bounce to the mattress. It's also pretty soft, so that's what's going to provide pressure relief to the sleeper on top. Latex is also known for uh, cooling properties, so you're not going to sleep too hot. It's not going to trap body heat. This layer also has uh, aerated holes in the top of it, which is going to help airflow through the mattress, which is again going to help with temper temperature regulation and cooling. Below that, we have eight inches of individually wrapped coils. This is the support center of the mattress. Now, individually wrapped coils are good for motion isolation. They're also going to provide some contouring to the body. Another plus with coils is that they create a lot of airspace in the mattress to allow airflow through so the mattress doesn't trap too much body heat and again allows you to sleep cooler. The latex material on top and the coils together provide a lot of bounce and springiness to the mattress as a whole. I should note that this mattress is made uh, to ship kind of separately. Uh, if you do order a queen size or above mattress, you can actually split the mattress into different firmness zones. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is soft latex layer over firm coils. Uh, but again, if you, they do have other firmness options depending on your sleeping preferences. And if you do get a queen size mattress or above, maybe you sleep with a partner, you can actually split the mattress into firmer and softer zones depending on the sleeper. Now that we've seen what makes up the EOS Classic, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of the mattress. Let's start by pressing into the cover. The initial feeling is of the quilted cover. It's a very soft feeling, allows you to sink in a little bit to the mattress. It's pretty quickly followed by that soft latex layer below, which is responsive to pressure, snaps back into shape. Now when I press in a little bit harder here, uh, you start to get to the support of the coils below. And again, it's a very springy feel, very responsive mattress. So now I'm going to lay down on it. I'm going to start on my back. And again, the first thing I notice when laying down on the mattress is definitely that bounce to it. Latex is a very responsive material, and the coil layer below uh, provides a very responsive mattress. I feel that this mattress has excellent support. Uh, it's keeping my back in line, a good position here. On my back, even though I do sink in a little bit to the quilted cover and into the soft latex, I'm definitely not stuck. I'm able to change my position, adjust easily on the mattress, roll around a bit. No interference there. I'm going to roll onto my side. And once onto my side, um, again, I do sink into the latex and the quilted cover a bit for some pressure relief. Um, I do feel that this mattress is a little bit on the firmer side with the firm coils below. Um, you know, with side sleepers, you're going to want to be really uh, careful with uh, pressure, especially at the hips and the shoulder areas. We're going to take a closer look at pressure relief later on in the review. Uh, but I just wanted to note for now, uh, if you are a strict side sleeper, you may want to make the choice for a 
uh, one of the softer support systems from the Naturepedic or the softer latex on top as it allows you to sink into the mattress a little bit more to relieve pressure uh, when you're sleeping on your side. I'm going to roll onto my stomach. As I, as I just said, I, I do feel this mattress is a little bit on the firmer side because the uh, firm support coils. Uh, on my stomach, I don't feel any pressure on my chest, uh, which is good. It's going to help me, uh, it's going to make it easier for me to breathe. I also feel that this mattress does a good job of keeping my hips from sinking in too far, uh, which is going to keep my back in a good position. That's something you really want to take a look at if you're a stomach sleeper. Um, again, I do feel that this mattress is a little bit on the firmer side, however, everyone can feel firmness a little bit differently because of different sizes and weight distribution. So for reference, I'm about 5'10", 190 pounds. If you'd like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of this mattress and a little more detailed description on the feel of it, check out our written review at sleepopolis.com. The ability to relieve pressure is one of the most important aspects of any mattress that you buy. Instead of just describing the feel of the EOS Classic to you, I wanted to give a visual representation of where you might feel pressure points form while lying on the mattress. To do that, I've placed a pressure map on top, I'm going to lie down on it in a few different positions, and you're going to see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. I'm going to start on my back. Roll onto my side. Try a few positions out on my side. Finally on my stomach. If you plan on sharing your bed with a partner, the ability of the mattress to isolate motion can be incredibly important. To test this, we've set up a seismometer on one side of the mattress where someone might be laying. And on the other side, I'm going to drop this 10 pound steel ball from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches to simulate someone getting in and out of bed or rolling around in the middle of the night. I'm going to see how much disturbance is transferred from one side of the bed to the other. First, the drop from 4 inches. Now from 8 inches, and finally from 12 inches. For many people buying a mattress, it will be important to know whether they're going to feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into the mattress. To test this, I've set up the sinkage test in which you use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts we're going to check to see how far into the mattress they go. First up in the sinkage chest, we have our six pound medicine ball. It's meant to simulate a lighter body part. We found that it sinks into the EOS Classic about an inch and a half. Next up in the sinkage chest, we have our 10 pound steel ball. It's the densest ball we use during this test. We found that it sinks into the mattress two inches. Next up, we have our 50 pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand. We found that it sinks into the mattress four and a half inches. Finally, we have our 100 pound medicine ball. It's the heaviest ball we use during this test. If you're a bit bigger, it simulates the center of your body. Uh, we found that it sinks into the EOS Classic six inches. If you plan on sharing your bed with a partner and need to use the entire surface area of the mattress, edge support can be incredibly important. You don't want to feel like you're going to roll out of bed when you get near the side or anything like that. Now, when I'm near the side of the EOS Classic, I feel really well supported near the side here. I feel even support from the center of the mattress to the side. That's really good. Even when I lay close to the edge here, put weight really close to the side, we do see some compression through the latex layer on top. That's to be expected out of a softer foam layer like that, but I still feel very secure in my position can change positions and roll around without any worry of falling out of bed. Even if I hang off the mattress a little bit in this position, again we see some compression through the softer latex layer. That's to be expected. Now, when I sit up on the side of the mattress here, I think, you know, maybe putting your shoes on in the morning or getting into bed at night, 
might not be the most important position for you when taking a look at your mattress, but it does do a good job of showing what an increased weight, uh, weight can do on a smaller surface area on the edge of the mattress here. Again, compression through the latex layer, but I would say that the support system does a good job of having the EOS Classic keep its shape, and I would say that the edge support on this mattress is very good. Now just some basic information on the Naturepedic EOS Classic. There's a 90-day trial period, a 20-year warranty, and shipping it for self-setup is $99 to the continent of the United States, but there is an in-home delivery and setup option for $275. Now who would I recommend this mattress to is if you're looking for an organic mattress. As I said before, Naturepedic specializes in making mattresses and sleep products out of organic materials, and everything, including the cover and the foam layer on top, are organic. I would also recommend this mattress if you're looking for strong support and bounce. Latex as a material is known for being highly responsive to pressure, and the coil system below gives a good support system, keeping your back in line and allowing you to change positions with ease. I'd also recommend this mattress if you're looking to sleep cool. Latex doesn't really trap too much body heat, so that helps with cooling while you're sleeping. And it has an aerated holes in the top to allow airflow through that top layer for temperature regulation. And the coil system creates an airspace in the mattress that allows airflow through it to again help with cooling and temperature regulation. And finally, I would recommend this mattress if you're looking for split firmness levels. As I said before, it, for queen size mattresses and above, Naturepedic has an option where you can split one side of the mattress from the other in terms of firmness and feel. So if you and your partner prefer different firmness levels, this would be a good option for you. That's it for the review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions regarding the mattress or the review, please leave a note below. And don't forget to read our written review at sleepopolis.com. Have a nice day.